Hello, my name is Rotoros. Thank you for joining me here tonight. Tonight we will be looking at Bravado Spice Company's Crimson Hot Sauce. Take a good look at that color. This is the version 2, the smoother one, without the seeds and the pulp. So I think this is the Tide for Thinnest Sauce with the Blueberry and Ghost. Now I'm trying to finish my Bravado Hot Sauce series so I can move on to some other sauces and do some other stuff. So we still have this, Crimson, which is this video, Crimson Special Reserve, and Serrano and Basil. So I'm going to get those soon. Now let me read to you the ingredients on this sauce. We start with the Arbol chilies, which is really good. It gives a really good earthy, dark flavor. That probably also helps with the coloring here. I really do like that particular chili. It, I think having it in here really makes the sauce gives it makes it you know its own signature flavor. Then you have red jalapenos, which is nice because the bravado also has a green jalapeno sauce. This is cool that it has red. Next is their white wine vinegar that they always use in their hot sauces, and the vinegar is very dominant in this sauce. I wouldn't go as far to say that it is harsh, but it is without a doubt the most dominating scent and flavor in the sauce. Then we have garlic, sea salt, and sugar. And I'm very glad that they did not go overboard with the sugar in this because they can really ruin, you can really ruin a sauce if it's too sweet. There's some sweet sauces I have that I don't like too much because like, I like them, but just not as much, because they're just way too sweet. Uh, zero grams of sodium, which is pretty good. Some people don't really like sodium in their sauces. So I'll give you one good look at the bottle here, and then I will smell the sauce and then taste it. So make sure you do shake the sauce before you eat it, because the vinegar will separate from the other ingredients and go up here. So just shake it to get the good consistency. So now I'm just gonna open this, smell it, and tell you what I'm smelling. All right, this, is, this has a pretty good smell. It, at first, I thought it was a little too tart-ish but as I've grown to, uh, I have definitely grown to like it more. I've used this on different things. And see, I'm very, very uh, conservative with my sauces. I really don't like using large quantities of the sauce. So I, it doesn't look like I use this too much, but I actually have put this on a number of different things, so. Like I said, vinegar is by far the first thing you smell. But considering it's not distilled vinegar, it's not harsh, it's not sour. It's just a, a good vinegar smell. If you really don't like vinegar, then this would definitely not be the sauce for you. I can smell a little bit of the garlic, and I... There is that earthy arbol chili scent in there too. It mixes together pretty well. It doesn't doesn't smell sweet. It really does not smell sweet at all, which is a good thing. So now I'm going to get a spoonful of this and I'm going to taste it. I'm going to try to not spill sauce like I did in the habanero one. Now let me just say before I do eat this sauce, I think without a doubt that the Bravado's red sauces are way hotter than their other ones. See this doesn't have the little heat labeling. If it did, it would probably have about two out of five. But seriously, the red ones, this, the Serrano and Basil, and the Special Reserve Crimson, they're all hotter than the ghost pepper sauce. Obviously the special reserve would be, but I mean, you think this would be a more mild one, especially on the Serrano and Basil where it actually says 
two out of five, you'd think that uh, would not be too hot. No, it's just turning my camera back on, but seriously, these red ones are way hotter. So let me try to show you what I have in here without spilling. Take a good look at that color. You see this? Yeah. We have a full, I try to get full spoonfuls now. Uh, in the jalapeno one, I didn't get enough. So I try to get full spoonfuls now. So this is Bravado Spice Company Crimson Hot Sauce. You know what, the heat build a little bit. Not too much heat, but I'm thinking this is already hotter than the ghost pepper sauce. It just like gives a different kind of heat. But the other ones are kind of spicy. This one's like, like it actually feels more hot. It kind of affects your, more of your face than the other ones. Now the first thing you taste is the vinegar. First thing you smell is the vinegar. First thing you taste is definitely the vinegar. Uh, it's very strong. This is, you know, as it says, let me show you right here. Undeniably bold. That is definitely a fact. These sauces are very, very bold. The sauce is, uh, it's very, quite strong. The vinegar is... I don't think it overpowers the other things in the sauce, but I do think it is, you know, there's a lot. If I can see, let me see here. No, it won't tell me, but uh, it's a good tasting sauce. I like the sauce a lot, actually. I put it on uh, pizza, and I think I put this sauce, I might put the sauce on some eggs I made some scrambled eggs that I mixed it in and then I put more on top once I was done so this sauce is kind of like what you use your standard Tabasco for uh, but I think it's just a bit more quality tasting more ingredients so not too many but just a little more gourmet sort of sauce so as I'm letting the flavor really like melt in in the heat you know, build and stay. I think that the, it is definitely an earthy sauce, as I was saying. It tastes dark, it tastes dark. It's not fruity at all, obviously. It tastes pretty fresh, but really it's that deep, dark sort of flavor, which is really nice. It goes with the you know dark crimson color. Uh, the sugar, is definitely not bad at all. Like I said, this is not sweet in the least. So, it is, it's like kind of like a savory feeling. It's definitely not sweet at all. The sugar, you won't taste that one bit. The garlic, as in all these sauces, except for the blueberry ghost pepper, is very nice. It's a great mixture, garlic, red peppers and white wine vinegar that's a wonderful mixture maybe even more so than some of the other peppers they've been using in sauces so my final verdict of this sauce is it's more it reminds me more of a mainstream sauce vinegar based but it has a really unique twist on it with those dark earthy tones the garlic is blended nicely and I do recommend this sauce for people who are fond of vinegar based sauces. Definitely stay away from it if you are against vinegar. That's really all I can say about this vinegar. That's, that is what you're going to get. So next will be the Crimson Special Reserve which I'm not going to tell you what pepper is in there. You might already know, but say it's hotter than red jalapenos. But anyway, 
I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope I was able to tell you if you are going to like the sauce or not. For the heat, let me just tell you how I feel about the heat real quick. Like I said, it is hotter than the other ones that we've had so far, but it's still not that hot. The flavor still beats the heat. Like, because there's some sauces where there's more heat than flavor. This one, there is heat, but there's still more flavor than heat. So, it's good. It'd be about a two or a three out of five peppers down here. So, medium. Uh, yeah. I do recommend you buy the sauce. So, I'm going to show this while I do my outro. This was Bravado Spice Company Crimson Hot Sauce. I am Rutteros, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.